that's not the way to test. Hang on a minute. Whoop, that's not it. Coming live just now. Dive Crippler is now live. Say the thing, TTS. Dav Crippler is now live. Streaming live. Amnesia the Bunker. Amnesia the Bunker Part 8. There we go. Give me the right title. Thank you. Uh, just doing a quick mic check. Mic check, mic Hey! Uh, there we go. Okay. Everything's cool. I need to hear myself doubling up. And we are back indeed. It is part eight. It's becoming a big series. This really short game that's taking me forever to finish. I don't know why it takes me so long. Maybe because, again, it's a skill issue. What can I say? Here I am in the administrator's office. Let's zoom in, shall we? Over here. Yes. We've been spending a lot of time here. Specifically uh, in Barracks B, a little bit in A. Been trying to get to communications. That door, we blew it open. Yes, we blew it up with a grenade. I found the radio, but there's no power to it. Looking through the wall here by the utility room, I saw that there's a switch I need to flip. So for me to do that, I need to go all the way through here, and that's where we left off. So, after the last recording, I decided to do a quick supply run to see if I could just pick up a bunch of stuff so I don't hog up a bunch of VOD time with me going back and forth and dying a bunch. And, ta-da, look at all my bottles. Yep, it's mostly bottles and sticks. Sticks and bottles. More than I'll probably ever need. And meat, of course. Can't forget the meat. On the bright side, I got two grenades on me. I got four, count them, four petrol bombs. More health, a couple of flares. I better take my wrench. I'll explain why in a minute. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to need a Molotov. I'll take one. because Oh yes, I got some extra space. I found a couple of pocketbooks, which is really neat. That's not all I found. I also found the code, I think, didn't I? Hmm, maybe I died after I found it. No matter, uh, I'll find it again for sure. I feel like I might remember where it is. Um, aside from that, I did get another note. So, I read Farber's last note already, so I won't be doing that now. But we'll let Augustine Lambert tell us what happened as we were passed out. Lower dump. Here we go. 11th of July, 1916. Dusk. I sit now at the bedside of my dear friend, Henri Clément. The doctor That's has left, but I remain. I feel I must record the extraordinary twists of fate and fortune that have led me to be here. Breathing. Alive. Strong and well. While Henri lies unconscious. Fighting for his life. It starts days ago. On the night patrol, I fell into some kind of pit. I was injured. Unable to move, unable to escape. By all rights, it should have been my turn. I cried for him, screamed at myself hoarse. The effort left me parched, exhausted, and still warm. As the next night fell, as I cried when I had heard my last cry for help, I could see the stars high, high above, beautiful, and different. And then Clement's face appeared at the top of the pit. Himself to me. I found a trickle of spring water there and let me drink from it. It was cool and crisp with a strange, sweet taste. Never has water felt more nourishing than that, administered by a dear friend's hand. I was saved, but of course, that is not the last twist fate's blade would stab into my back. 11th of July, 1916. Night. Later now, I continue my tale. As Clement carried me across no man's land, fate struck again. A German outpost spotted us. Gunfire, explosions, desperation. And as the air cleared, I pulled myself to my feet and saw that Henri was wounded. Blood pouring from his head, his eyes glassy. He was fading. I do not know where I found the strength to carry him, but carry him I did, all the way back to our bunker. 
12th July, 1916. Morning. Woke this morning and realized that a toy I purchased for my son is gone. I promised him I'd bring him something home from the front, so I brought him a stuffed rabbit from a local shop. A rabbit because he thinks he's so fast. It must have fallen from my pack when I fell into the crater. The thought of that stuffed rabbit lying in that crater, rain and weather matting its fur. Unloved. Forgotten. July 1916, afternoon, spoke to the doctor. He told me Henri woke in the night and had no recollection of the events of the Amnesia. Indeed, he seemed even more confused as to where he was. Aside from this disturbing news, I'm feeling rather good, stronger and stronger, as if the whole ordeal has filled both my body and soul with new purpose. Cool. So... That's uh, that's the story behind our story. And with that out the way, I got my wrench. Plan of action. So, anyway, uh, we were here. I was on my way back to communications to explore Barracks B. Um, the reason I'm carrying a wrench is because I found something interesting in Barracks A that I want to explore a little further. There's a, what appears to be a vent that I can open up. I'm not too sure where it goes. It probably just goes to the other side, to this passageway. But still, it's a use for the wrench, and uh, I want to make uh, the most of that. I'm also not clear on where this other code was that I stumbled across somewhere in my travels. It might have been in maintenance. Maybe in the chapel even. But it's probably here. So we're going to start here. Stick to the plan. And with all that established, let's freaking go. the officers' quarters once more. So, yes. Um, maintenance is a horrible, dangerous place. But yes, the beast followed me down here a few times. It pretty much goes wherever it wants. And there's very little I can do about that. So, the thing with this game, you have to set little goals. You know, because there is only one place where you can save. And micro-progression, you know, is progression. <laughs> so, I'll take it. Death comes very swift and very often. So, slow and steady wins the race, as they say. Now, unburdened by the FOMO of missing out on objects I didn't pick up, I will proceed directly towards my objective, which is to find this great... Oh, there's a trap here. I wish I could just take that grenade. Alas, it is not meant to be. Oh, a flare. Cool. Where is that great... Oh, he's already coming, isn't he? Gosh damn it. I better find a place to hide. This bit will have to do. I wonder where he came. Let's explore a little deeper. Mm. 
if I had the patience, I'd probably be trying to block these holes, but... Mm, even with this, actually, that, that could be quite a, a boss move. Oh, here he comes. He's nothing if not reliable. And growl to you too, sir. Yes, yes. Am I in the right bunker, I wonder? I can't really tell. I think maybe it's in bunker B now that I think about it. Oh well. I'll finish exploring here unless he rips me out from under the mattress and kills me. Could go either way. Has he moved on? Okay. Let's continue our quest. Maybe it's in Bunker B after all. I don't see uh, the, the vent here. I guess it really wouldn't make sense for it to be here. There's nowhere for it to go. Nowhere interesting anyway. Let's see if this is the play. Oh, is that another tripwire? They sure like their traps, huh? Mm-hmm. Ooh! There's an item there to pick up. Yeah. I'll just wait for him to go away again. Is he buzzed off? Okay. Where's the medikit? There it is. Medikits are very, very worth uh, the effort to get. That's actually a good grab. I can't really tell. Is that cabinet closed? He takes so long to go away. If he walks through that, I'm also dead. I should probably back up a bit. Careful. Careful. Now I walk into that grenade. Oh, he's right in front of me. You Don't look at him. Do I have anything I can throw as a distraction? Maybe the flare? Hmm. No, I'm good. I'll just wait. I'd like for him to walk into that grenade, but it will probably blow my face off if he does that, so... Let's just let him tucker himself out, huh? Mm-hmm. Move with purpose and intention, sir. I agree. Is he gone? Is that his cry of defeat? I can quickly see what's in here. Jack. I hope that wasn't loud. What's this? A note. Grab it. Where is this vent, for goodness sake? Oh, I think it's over here. There it is. Sweet, I found it. Now I should find a place to hide before he comes back. Because he's going to come back and he's going to pull my face off. This will do. Okay, we can use this.
Is he here? Okay, no, he's not. Maybe I've got a chance. Let's see if we can get this vent open. Oh crap, he's coming. I mean, I heard a loud thud. I don't know what that was. It wasn't me, that's for sure. No, maybe it was me. <laughs> maybe it's me when I walk past the locker. Okay, that's one. Okay, now, remember what I said about micro progression? That's micro progression. <laughs> I'm gonna go back now and put this wrench away. Hopefully, without incident. Uh huh, I'm on the right track. Here we go. Deep breath. Let's get back to base, put this wrench away so we have that space in our inventory. And then we'll come back, open that vent, and see what it hides. And save, so I never have to worry about that vent again. Oh, and read that note I picked up. Now, here's a funny thing. I can still be intercepted on the way back. He can, if uh, the mood uh, captures him, <laughs> just decide to show up here and, yeah, ruin my run, <laughs> just like that. In fact, it sounds like that's exactly what he wants to do. So I better move. What the hell's a rat doing in there? Oh, I should totally close this door because there is a body down here, isn't there? Are there rats downstairs? Not yet, but I should probably start closing the door so they don't come down here, huh? Why can't I lock this? Fine, I'll save. Progress saved. I still can't lock. Doesn't matter. Why is the bottle that keeps moving? Stop it! Stop it right now! You're infuriating. Let's put you here. Wait, you know what? Let's get let's get down. And drop it nicely. Okay, and in here we can put the wrench. I'm thinking we're probably gonna leave the medikit down here as well. Hmm. What should I take with me though? Shall I take a torch? Maybe I'll take the gun. Hopefully I'll find some ammo. Okay. Save. And let's venture forth. It's weird it's not letting me lock the door, but whatever. Okay, time for the next progression, where we go through the vent. Oh wait, I got it there, I didn't read it. Fine, I'll read it quickly. It was by Soldat Chonard. Fear and Paranoia. 
15 July 1916, Fournier claims one of us killed Reynard, but I saw Reynard's corpse. His eyes were gone, gouged from his skull. His tongue was shredded. We all hated Reynard, but none of us could have done this. War is a brutality, but it is anonymous, mechanized. We fire at distant soldiers who never, who ever did this. It was intimate. It was sadistic. I fear for all of us. That could be referring to anything, surely. No specific blob monster comes to mind. All right, here's another run. Okay, now we know for sure it's Bunker B. So we're going to go straight there through the vent. Hopefully without too much incident. Should be just over here, yes. Well, that was loud. Bullets! Well, what do you know? That's pretty awesome. And this is actually quite a sweet hiding place, if I do say so. What note did I just pick up? Farber, gathering of the willing. <clears throat> 28th of May, 1916. After what happened with Neuer, after how Reynolds and Fournier treated him and LaRue, there's only one way forward for us. I've gathered men I can trust, proposed to them what we will do. To a man, all of them were willing. It was such a relief. T seemed eager to go, the poor man. I hear him at night, muttering in rhymes, trying to comfort himself. For his sake, for all our sakes, this nightmare must stop. Late now, on the 14th of June... The nightmares have stopped. We no longer hear those sounds, but now I am plagued by worse nightmares. My fellow saboteurs were all caught. Dalpi and Reynard torture them even now, and yet none of them have turned me in. I alone have escaped punishment. The honor among these men, my brothers, I'm not worthy of it. It haunts me. The guilt of it, I know they will be court-martialed, maybe even put to death, and here I am. My consolation, the war will punish me as it punishes us all. And if I will remain vigilant, lest whatever darkness lurks in these t tunnels returns. Uh -huh. Great. Is that him? Coming to be a nuisance. Well, I may as well load my gun. With all the two bullets I have. Now, I've come to realize these bullets are best considered as keys to locks. <laughs> as without bullets, I have no way of breaking certain locks. Well, hopefully at least this works as a good saving uh, hiding spot, right? Just you and me, spiderweb. This is my new website. Yes, I deserve that. Would be really cool if he just walked through one of those traps. Can I consider him gone because I'd really like to get back with this uh, loaded gun and take it somewhere useful under the bed under the bed he's here <gasps> there's that grenade please don't see me please don't see me Oh, he might just walk into that.
Wait, did that sound like a voice? A human voice? Oh. It kind of does a little bit sometimes, huh? Maybe Hermie used to be a Hermie. Hmm? Was you a human? Not really my concern right now. I don't really have the luxury to uh, consider implications at this moment. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here with my new found ammo and yes, I know. <laughs> I should be exploring the communications room, and I will. I will get to it. But first, I have another side quest I need to attend to, because I've been looking for ammo. I wonder if I can make it back in time, and this time actually lock the door behind me. That would be good too. Please don't just show up. Oh, he's he's gonna show up. Can I make it? 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 Close the door. Lock the door. Yes! We did it! We made it back and we have bullets. <laughs> we have bullets, boys. <sighs> Actual ammunition. It's it's beautiful. Actually, we have some pretty good gear. A flare for light, for rats, for wooden doors, for being hurt, for my flaming uh, bottle of petrol, and my stupid flashlight that makes so much noise it's not even worth using it okay let's not waste any time okay let me just check the route again i'm gonna come out there and i'm gonna go left i think yes and go to maintenance like the good old days huh Okay, this one has almost a zero chance of success, so bear with me, <laughs> because it will require me finding a hiding place really, really quickly. I should probably close the door so a rat doesn't wander in again. Oh, is it because I left meat on the floor? Maybe it's because I left meat on the floor. Oh, well, I don't really care. If I'm being honest, I'm just going to go ahead and look for maintenance. Yeah, this is the one. Maintenance, a notoriously dangerous place to visit. <clears throat> Very difficult to get out alive from. But one we have to visit if we want to get all the items we will require for our progression. So this one's a bit of a trick. Hopefully we can pull this off in one try. It's unlikely, I'm sorry, if this takes more than one. But I'll try to get this done as quickly and efficiently as possible. So as usual, I'm on my way to the workshop. Just making a beeline past the brisket. I go towards this light over here and take a lift to the next pink light. And then I'll take a lift to the workshop. I think I hear him rummaging around already. Q. 
Okay, I'm almost at my destination. I'm sure you recall this tunnel very well, <laughs> and I'll never forget. I had many rat issues down here. There's the pillbox over there, and this is where I'm headed to fuel storage. Which is what I. Oh crap, he's coming. Bear gap here. So this is my problem with this area. This is the best hiding spot I have. Can I see him from here? Better keep my head low so I don't get headshot. There's still soldiers out there shooting at this pillbox and I think they could take me in the head if I'm not careful. Do I have anything useful I could drop on him if I wanted to? Well, I've got a grenade, I suppose, but... Patience is key. He's looking around very aggressively, huh? Yeah. I think I may as well try and go to back down. It's really hard to tell, you know, especially when you're all the way up there when you when you left. Can I hear him now? I just don't know. Here goes nothing. Oh man, he is still around. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> I'll go hang out up here for a little bit longer, I guess. Duck! Okay, has he lost interest? Maintenance sucks. <laughs> and it makes what I have to do here even worse. Because now, after all of that, good lord, he's coming again. You see, he's relentless. Where's this? Where are the stairs? Here are the stairs, right? That's not it. There's a staircase here somewhere I need to find. Oh, brother. Yeah, come look for me. I don't think I have a choice. I'm going to have to wind my light if I want to find this thing. Or I could throw my flare. That's also an option. I can hear him, like, rustling around. But I can't tell where he is.
Okay, please, Mr. Monster, can I please finish my mission? <laughs> Let me stick to the right. Oh, hell no. He's down here. He might even see me. Go away. Okay, I think he did. There's the stairs. Here goes nothing. This is risky as hell. Gonna have to get up real close and shoot this lock. There. And now run for my life. Lest I get destroyed. Oh dear, this is the chapel. Not exactly the place I was looking to hide in. But it will do, as long as I can find the door that closes. Do you close nice door? No, you don't? Well, that sucks of you. <laughs> There's nowhere else to hide up here. Oh gosh. Oh, this door closes. Close, close, close. That's right. This is where the priest was. Okay, well, let me collect my thoughts. <laughs> what notes have I got? Gathering of the willing. Nappy must stop. Bloody, bloody, blah. We read all this. Now, the best possible outcome would be if we can get back to base <laughs> and then we won't have to worry about shooting again and making a horrible noise. That puts us immediately at risk. Yep, there's not much for me to say here, I'm afraid. <laughs> this is a lot of the game. It's just hiding and waiting for the terror to go away so you can move. I can still hear the heartbeats of Henri Clement. I need to at least wait until those subside before it's safe for me to explore. Oh, I think that's his roar of frustration and he might be leaving. Okay. Now I'd say that was relatively successful as I achieved what I came here to do. I didn't get inside the room yet, but I fired my gun. And I love to tell the tale for now. I'll explore fuel storage and all that later. I need to get the heck out of Dodge. Oh, wish me luck. We're going to see if we can make our, our way all the way back home from here. After making that racket. I was thinking about when the lights flickered, if that meant that uh, he was maybe close by. I feel like he is close by. How close by? Can I sneak past him? Oh lord. Nope. Time for me to run.
It's a good thing I know my way around this place. <laughs> oh man, that was a close one. Right, get done. I wonder if he chased me here, I'll actually use a grenade on him. I'd rather use a grenade. I have more grenades than I have bullets, okay? <laughs> If he pursues me in here, I am dropping a grenade on him. It's the least I can do for the suffering he's caused me. So later on when I return, I know I don't have to worry about shooting that door again. Hard to know for certain. I'm just gonna go and hope for the best. I'm just trying to listen for him. He still seems to sound like he's around, but he always will. He's never gone. Here goes nothing. Please don't show up out of the blue. He's coming again. What a drag this guy is. Just leave me alone, <laughs> please. I have no quarrel with you, sir. I'm just doing my shopping and going home, okay? Let's agree to disagree. You really made a mess of this place, huh? Oh, okay. It's a bit too soon to be excited, but I'm getting there. My enthusiasm is growing. I just have to hope he doesn't show up now. That would suck. It's such a long walk back from maintenance here. So very close. So very close. He's coming. Screw this. I can only take so much. Close this door. Close this door. Close this door. Lock this freaking door. <gasps> oh my gosh. Safe. <laughs> Okay, I'll go down here, let him grow frustrated, and let the soothing music come back. Ah, there it is. Okay, we've managed to elude our pursuer. I think something I should do is pick up the meat from the ground and put it in the storage container because that's just going to attract... Uh, I think they just ate the meat, huh? <laughs> oh, well, whatever. I didn't really care for it. That was my uh, blunder. Okay, so I've got two options. I can go see more into that room I just blew open. Or I could... Try finish up with communications.
maybe I should go back to communications and try to get some more progress over there, huh? Is that a health kit under the... Oh, well, whatever. Time to put this gun away. Or should I keep it? My indecisiveness must be so entertaining. <laughs> I think I'll drop my flare. How about that? Or I'll throw it when I get down there. That's also good. Okay. We have a plan for when we come back. I might go back to maintenance at some point to go see what's behind that door. Hopefully something good. But for now, we're going back to officer's quarters, which is up here. And once we're there, I'm going to see if I can find out more about uh, the pan, well, the kitchen and the utility room. Just try to find my way around there, basically. Okay, here's hoping this goes well. I would really like to get that code from the communications room once and for all. Where's that passageway? Did I miss it? Maybe I missed it. Is he already coming? He's already coming, isn't he? Gosh, I'd never have a moment's break from this guy. Sometimes he'll just spawn right in front of you, like right through one of the holes here. Like that. Just like that. You know what? I've had quite enough of you, sir. And that's how I died. I shot him three times before he backed off. I wonder what they're feeding those soldiers, said soldier Charles Lavoy. Well, I know what this one's eating. It's me. A steady diet of me. Once more into the breach, my friends. Time to reassess my inventory. One bullet, one grenade, one uh, Molotov cocktail. Yeah, whatever. Same as it's ever been. Yeah, there's totally a health kit under there, huh? Henri, why do you do this to me? Imagine my frustration if I really need that health and I can't get to it because it's under there. Okay, I'm not going to overthink that. <laughs> Let me just proceed with my quest. Probably more inventory is better at this point. I'll stick with my plan. The idea is to get further in and drop the flare. <sighs> so real talk, there's a lot of things I like about Amnesia the Bunker. The never knowing when this guy goes away is not one of them. At least in uh, Rebirth, I had a constant sense of, uh, you know, moving forward. 
But hey, that's what a video game should be, huh? Just keep you coming back, trying new things, trying to outsmart your nemesis, your big fleshy mutant stalker thing. Let's work on making a beeline for the exit. Last time he just materialized in this corridor before I even made it all the way up. I took a right here. <clears throat> and yes, I'm sorry if you're watching it, all you see is darkness. That's pretty much all I see as well. <laughs> but hopefully before too long we shall have some lights in this area. Here we go. This is a comfortable, familiar place. Did you destroy this safety table? No, good. It's still here. Okay, we can hang out here for a minute. Nice. Now I can see a little bit of what's going on around here. Is that another vent back there? Do I need to go back and get my wrench? Is this attracting his attention? I can't really tell. Is that noisy or is it just bright? I need to know. That's totally a vent for me to open, huh? Okay, I need to come back and get my wrench. <laughs> Did I make a racket just now by doing that? I don't have my wrench on me, do I? Nah, I don't. But I've got another bottle for my collection. Well, that flare was kind of handy, huh? I wonder if I should just head back now and get my wrench right away, or if I should explore the space a little more. I think I'll explore a little more. See what else I can find here. Another bottle. Why? Excellent. Finally, just the equipment I needed. Let's try this light out for all time's sake. As bloody loud as it is. Okay, okay, I can hide here too. It's not too shabby. Anything worth picking up around here? Ammo! That's worth picking up for sure. Oh, is this a healing crate? I probably have to pop that open somehow. Oh, what's this? Cloth. Very useful. So far, a pretty good haul. Hmm. Yes. Let's pop a bullet in there, huh? Is he coming? How do I put this gun away? Gotcha. There we go. There's something I didn't open here.
Yeah, nothing in it. Time to hide. My boyfriend has arrived. Keep me behind this barrel. And hope he goes away. <laughs> How's my inventory? It's full. I could make another Molotov, though. I have everything I need for that. Maybe I should do that quickly. Combine with that. Combine with that. Then I have another Molotov. Maybe I'll even equip it. Just in case. This will freak him out and make him leave, you, make, make him leave me alone for a minute. If I need to. I just want that to cover me as much as possible. Do, do. Okay, the heartbeats have subsided. Is he still nearby? Yeah, it's him growling. How close is he to me? This is the room. This is the room I need. <gasps> this is super the room I need. Okay, but I need to hide right now. Because he's still around. If I can get that switch up, we have made huge progress. What's my shortcut for this stupid flashlight? Um, put away X. Okay, got it. Please give me peace. Yes, yes, go stomp somewhere else, please. Go walk into a trap. There's a couple here. Go find them. Okay, here's hoping I've got the, the time to pull this off. I saw a cupboard. Can this open? I can't hide in it. There's another fuel tank. There's a bottle. Most importantly, oh wait, there's a door. With another fuel tank and I can hide in it. Rad, close the door. Okay, cool. Yeah, that fuel tank means more to me than this bottle, thank you. I feel so close to my objective. Remember, I still have to find my way back home after this. Beat it! <laughs> you suck! Is he gone? My heart is still beating. Let's 
It's so frustrating. He can end all this effort, all this work in seconds. All he has to do is show up and it's like none of this happened. I'm ready to leave. I just want him to go away. Okay. What's up there? Another fuel tank? Another bottle I can drop. Where's the bloody switch? <laughs> there. Quickly pull it. Oh, it's already down. So where's the switch I meant to pull? There's a trap here and a dog tag there. In Laval. Triple zero six. Is this the utility room? Is this me walking into very dangerous territory? Should probably walk a little more carefully, huh? I'll be honest, I am lost. I'm super lost right now. I don't know where the hell I am. But if this is the way out, I'm taking it. Is that the way out? Or is that... The, this is the way out. Okay, I know where I am. I actually know where I am. This is huge. Let's get out of here. And I got tons more fuel, which is also great. Hmm. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'm holding my breath, <laughs> trying to stay inconspicuous. And the music is starting to build up tension, which means he's about to come back. Which is really horrible after all this progress. I'm better than we'll make it into that save room right the hell now. And get closed. And get locked. <gasps> Hallelujah! What a feeling. It's almost like uh, hitting a bonfire in Dark Souls <laughs> after being put through hell. Okay. What is going on here, guys? What do we have? We got a lot of fuel. Drop, drop, drop. Five fuel tanks. We're winning. And I got a couple of Molotovs for good measure. And a couple of bullets for my gun, even. Things are really looking up. And I think I picked up some documents. Okay, let me just save again. Okay, let's see what we picked up. What notes did we just get? Farber, I've read those. I've read all those notes. Is it a photo? Oh, it is a photo. What's this? Oh, let me ex let me see. That's the circuit breaker. So what is it telling me? Do I have to turn off those green switches? Do I have to turn off those green switches and the red switch for the blue switches to work? Is that what it's telling me? That's curious. Oh, I also got a code for real this time. 
triple zero six Laval. We should go and investigate that right away. That's not too far off. Should actually be right here, huh? Laval triple zero six. Okay, I can have some light here. Lambert Laval. Get get triple zero six. A gas mask? Well, now that's a game changer. You know what that means? That means the gas grenades might actually be useful now. <laughs> I may have to start carrying them on me. That's pretty huge. That kind of makes me OP a little bit because now I can throw the grenade at my feet, breathe easily, and uh, he'll have to run away because it hurts him. Just keep that on, right? Is it still in my inventory? Yeah, it is, unfortunately. Let's take a gas grenade. I'll put a Molotov back. I've only got two spaces with which to carry things at the moment. I don't really want to drop anything else. It's just getting a bit cluttered on the ground, and something's roll under the storage box, which is annoying. Let's save. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I've got my photo. I think I have to turn off the green switches and the red switch. It's going to be tricky. And of course it's harder to see with this, but I think that's by design. Let's quickly have a look at this thing again. Okay. I need the blue circuit to work. Yes? Yes. And for me to get the blue circuit to work, I need maybe to turn off the green and the red. I'm not entirely sure if that's what they're trying to tell me, but that's the vibe I'm getting. So we are here. Let me have a look. Okay, so we are in that passageway there facing the two green switches. So if I go straight ahead, I'll hit those two green. Then I'll take a left and I'll hit that third green and straight up ahead, I'll hit the fourth. I think that makes sense. 
Maybe I should work my way. Uh, is the red one? Where is the red one exactly? Have I turned that one on? I'm gonna just explore for now, okay? Make sure I, I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing. That's the green switch over there. There's the other two green switches were behind me. And supposedly there's another green switch over here, right? That's the other green switch. Now, I haven't actually found the circuit board yet, so I want to see it for myself. Here he comes. Oh, I forgot about this. I totally forgot about this. Does this work? Come and get me, jerk. Hey, hey, what the hell? I'm sorry, that gas grenade was useless. <laughs> That's annoying. But it was a reminder I need to get my wrench. So fair enough. <laughs> you live and you learn, am I right? Okay. Screw the gas mask. It sucks. <laughs> I'm going to rather just take a wrench with me. Yeah, change of plans. Taking this. And putting this back. Yep. Okay, cool. And gonna drop this here. Anything else I can drop? Kind of feeling this other stuff too much to drop it. Fine, I'll drop a grenade. I can come back for it if I need it. Let's save. And I made a grievous error leaving the meat on the ground because the rats just came and ate it and that's it for that. They're of no more use to me. I do have my wrench, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool. I'm hoping that by the end of this episode, I have heard the communications message. And we'll find out soon if that's the case. Mm-hmm. Transition. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. Tell me what I should review next. Best petrol bombs in the game. So yes, I'm I'm still thinking about the colors. They have a significance. And I have not forgotten about that. A bunch of... I need to know what's behind that grate. Not knowing literally is killing me. Is 
Yeah, please, make as much noise as you can. Sigh. Just hurry up and do your thing. Mm-hmm. Look, you either see me or you don't. You decide. I think he made a decision. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've got my wrench. Gonna go straight there. Gonna try to be a little bit more quiet. Actually, I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. It's going to cost me an inventory slot, though. Is it worth it? I don't know yet. I don't know yet, but it involves taking this again. It involves taking this again. Perhaps dropping this for now. <coughs> And well, since I'm not carrying a Molotov, I suppose I'll put this away. I am carrying a Molotov. I should keep my lighter. But I'll probably put my gun away. Okay. I have a plan. I do have a plan. It's crazy. But I've got a plan. I did save, right? I should save before I go out. Because... I'm committing to this plan, actually. As much as the gas mask did let me down last time, I have to take accountability. I did wait till the last second to drop that grenade. And frankly, what on earth was I expecting to be the outcome? So, let me share with the class what I'm thinking. My plan is, upon entering that little... Uh, dining room area to put the mask on immediately and just drop that that grenade and then that should buy me plenty of time to get to work on the vent getting through it and getting out of it with whatever riches I pick up along the way and then I'm gonna give a long hard think about these switches But first things first, we need to get that vent open. That's not up for any debate. Let's just put this on now. Since I know where I'm going. I'm sorry it's so dark. I'll try to light things up a little bit more in a bit. I'm almost at my objective. Here I am. I'm going to get under my table now. This is going to be showing up any second now. Here's my table. My table of peace. Time for my grenade. Toss it. And hope this is going to work. Let's flood this place with gas and hope it drives him away. Okay, it's flooding the place with gas.
Hopefully he does not find it desirable to be here right now. And I'm able to breathe quite clearly at this moment, which is awesome. Can I make it to my grate? I have made it to my grate. Here goes nothing. Next one, please. And we can take this off. Yeah, sure. Where does this go? Gives me a photo, gives me a bandage. Anything else for my trouble? What else do you keep in here? Surely that can't be it, right? That really was it. Kind of lame. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Oh well. I guess my curiosity is uh, satisfied. I suppose I can take this off. Can I make my way back home? Always a tense experience playing this. But it's nice to have a whole bunch of supplies waiting for me at home. Here he comes. But the gas mask was very handy just now. So I've got another thing in the back of my head I'm going to try to articulate. I feel like I read a note that talked about how the lights were connected to each other. That may be uh, hinting at what I'm seeing in that image. And if that's the case, I need to examine that note. Look, here's my bandage. Went and traveled. Probably take another one of these. They're actually useful now. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. Save. Oh yeah, I must put my wrench away. I don't need that anymore. It's not not in the the immediate moment. Oh yes, I was going to look at that note I was talking about. Which one was it now? Rats and burnt corpses. It's just me trauma dumping, fuel and fire. Note from the clerk. Patrol update, final journal, major sergeant. Prisoner in custody, Larry's report. Yeah, okay, fine. Increased security in Arsenal, Shannon, the rats, I can hear me, okay, for Miss Stafford. Daisy chain switches, that's it. 
Attention, the power in this part of the facility is daisy chained. Shut off the power in one section in the chain. The subsequent areas will go off as well. That's interesting. I'm going to try something experimental. I have saved, so that's all fine. Look, I'll even do it again. I think it's time for me to do a generator run where I go and see that all the switches I need on are on. And hopefully, if I do run into my friend, I can hide and gas him in time to buy me enough opportunity to experiment with the switches. But yes, it's time for the lights to come back on. Let's celebrate. Okay. Now I get to enjoy this place in its full lit glory. Okay, you know what I just realized, actually, what the picture could just be telling me is where all the switches are, which is also useful, so that way I can make sure I have turned on all of them. And now I can see them nice and clearly. See, it's dark here, which means that all of them are off, huh? Because they're all connected. That's why this lights, these lights are off right now. So if I pull this up, that's off. So we turn it on, that's on. See? Okay, cool. Let's have a look at that photo. What's this? When did I pick that up? Oh, I vaguely remember picking that up. Is that the arsenal? What is that? Don't worry about that later. I'm more interested in this one. Okay, so right now I'm, I'm by that first green light on the top right. The one ahead of that is also on. The one inside is also on. The one that side. I need to go check the red. I'm curious to see if the red one's on. See, that one's on, that's fine. That's also the other green one. The red one should be through there and through the back. I'll guess him again if I have to. There it is, it's on, yeah, that's the red one. Let me hide down here for a second while I contemplate. Okay, okay, so the green and the reds are all on. That's the wrong picture. Now the blue, where's the blue switch? The blue switch is all the way there in the communications room. I know that one's on. Did I get to the circuit board even? I don't even recall if I did. I'm going to try and make my way around. Oh, there is one switch. There is one switch. I can't point at it, but if you look at where the red is and you follow it up into the blue, follow the blue line up, you see where it curves at an angle? There's a switch there. And to get there, I have to go basically up through this room north, take a right, and go up. Okay, so I'm going to basically, yeah. We'll figure it out. It's hard for me to articulate, but <laughs> we're going to go that way. I'm just waiting to see if my chum shows up. There's my dead grenade. So it requires me to go through here. He's coming, huh? That's fine, I'll get down here. I 
I'll put my mask on. Get my grenade out. And I have it if I need it. We can pull this off if he's not too much of a dick about it. He's coming, huh? Yeah, he's coming for sure. I could throw it over there and hope for the best. Yeah, I'll just throw it. That, that's fine. I can always run into it if I need to. There's the switch that's not on. Which should be on, actually, right? Isn't... Oh, wait! Wait, no, sorry. No, nothing. <laughs> Meat. And the lock I need to shoot. But of course! And I put my gun away, right? Okay, I'm going to spare us all a lot of pain and just load <laughs> instead of walking all the way back to get my gun, okay? <laughs> it's a good plan. But it needs me to take my gun. I got to take my gun with me. On the flip side, I may leave the generator off actually. Okay, so here's the plan. Now, I'm going to take my gun. I'll still take the mask and the gas just in case he shows up to, to cause me grief. But my, my plan is much more secure now. I think I know exactly what I need to do. And I was overthinking it a little bit in terms of the order of the switches I needed to turn off. All I really need to do is shoot that lock hide, wait for him to come, drop the gas grenade, put my mask on, wait for him to go away, pull the switch, go back home, Bob's your uncle, right? Simple as. Let's see how it works in practice. <laughs> You see, that's why I'm reluctant to fire this gun ever, because you always need it to open a lock. <laughs> and sure, there may be other ways, like I can probably blow those off uh, with a grenade as well, but the gun's just way more effective. It's frankly perfect for this type of task. And ammunition, as you've seen, is extremely scarce. You're more likely to find a grenade than a bullet. He's already coming. What a treat. Okay, let's go straight. Let's go straight. Let's go straight. We're going straight over here to this room. Yes, yes. Over here, it's a nice health kit, thank you. And here's the room with the locked door, right? Oh crap! <laughs> I don't remember where that was. Oh man. Ah. <sighs> 
<sighs> I hope you're enjoying this walkthrough. <laughs> Okay, it's a solid plan. I must just not hit the tripwire, really. That's uh, that's the main problem with that uh, that approach I took now. Okay, let me make sure I have my gun on me. And then we're going to try that again and try not to blow ourselves up again. Do I have my gun? No, I don't. Take the gun. I'll save so next time I die I have my gun <laughs> just in case so I remember someone saying, I don't remember why or when or how, but I feel like I heard mention that this game is very reminiscent of the Penumbra games that uh, preceded Amnesia as a series. I don't know how true that is. I've never played the Penumbra series. I was obsessed with the idea of playing with them uh, when uh, Amnesia first came out because, yeah, Amnesia, the, uh, Dark Descent, that rocked my world. That, that was like a life-changing game because I'd never felt that scared by a video game before. I want to say or since. But that uh, that PT demo, <laughs> well, that, not the demo, but that PT remake uh, by Dr. Jones and Lucifer Saint and them, that, that was actually very scary. The other Amnesia games that, well, uh, other Amnesia, I only played Rebirth. I never played uh, Machine for Pigs. It wasn't as scary. Maybe scarier than this, in my opinion. This is more tense than scary. I think it's just because I've seen this thing so many times. I know what to expect from it. So my tension is, will I make it back to the safe room? Okay, now let's not get blown up again. Let's look at things properly. Where was that tripwire? I need some light. This is this room. Gotcha. Okay. And through here. Yep, that's enough to summon him. I better get under my cupboard. Nope. Let's put on the mask. Get the grenade out. Sure, just fire it. What did I miss? So much. <laughs> so, so much. I don't even know where to begin. I'll just uh, say, um, first of all, hello. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Um, I've been playing this thing that should only take about five hours for a decent gamer. I think I'm on my 10th hour at this point. And... Currently, I'm sitting in gas that I've dropped a locked door that I need to pop open with a bullet. There's a trap here somewhere I must be careful about. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Watch out for that. Uh, basically, I need to shoot a lock of a door. Because doing so will let me get to a switch. There we go.
and now I may have completed the puzzle if I'm careful. I think I've just incurred the wrath of a horrible monster. Pull that. And if I played my cards right, I should be able to escape back home soon. Okay, my nemesis is approaching. I need to put my light away. Put away. There. So I'm going to hope that he loses interest in me. Let me take off my gas mask. So yes, uh, have you seen the previous episodes of whatever this is? <laughs> this is Amnesia the Bunker Part 8. I've been making little steps to helping Henri escape the bunker. Presently, my mission is as such. There is a communications room, which I'm right next to, that uh, has an important code for me, right? But for me to get it, I need the power to reach it. And I wasn't able to turn it on until I turned this switch on, which I had to uh, make a lot of uh, choices <laughs> and risks, uh, to take a lot of risks to get it on. I think they finally paid off as long as I can make it back in one piece. As you can hear, I am not alone. Yes, uh, if, Dolphin Queen, I uh, highly recommend checking out the previous VODs to see how we got here. It's a trip. I've been in this bunker a long time with our friend here. You know, he's the handsome guy that you can hear sort of lurk, uh, lumbering around behind me. When you joined, I had... Oh, good Lord. There's also shelling from above because uh, there are soldiers above me uh, battling it out. In theory, all I have to do now is get back to my safe room. So I have a nice safe room with, with doors I can lock. And it's really, really nice. But as you can hear, this, uh, this guy's going to make things difficult for me. I can take a chance at shooting him but I think I've got how many bullets? One. <laughs> and it's pretty valuable because I can also use it as you saw I can use it to shoot off locks from chains and get myself access to other rooms like this. I'm hiding under a table. This can have a 50-50 chance of protecting me or getting me killed. I think he might have gotten frustrated and wondered off. I'm going to try, figure out a way to get back. Ooh, what's that? Shotgun ammo. I didn't even have a shotgun. I'll take it. No, he's still lumbering around, still lumbering around, get under the table. Eek! <laughs> so, he does not go away like ever. <laughs> he's very frustrating. I've got cheap viewers. Well, I should totally click on that, right? What can go wrong? Streamboo.com, remove the space. Nobody, nobody click on that. Nobody follow that link. If you wanna, thank you. Thank you, Dolphin Queen. Very, very good moderation. I appreciate that. Who knows, one day we may actually have a chat to moderate as well, beside the bots. So consider this training. <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish you could ban this thing. It just won't go away. My dude, go away. Let me go home. Like staring at me under a table is not exactly a spectator sport, okay? Beat it. Get If you listen carefully, you can hear uh, my heartbeat. Oh, uh, I am Henri Clement, the unfortunate soldier who finds himself the lone survivor in this underground bunker. I'm now going to make 
a brave attempt to get the hell out of Dodge. Take some bottles with me, I guess. Oh, what's over there? Another bottle. Fantastic. I really just want to leave and get back to my base. I will take a... Uh, oh, that's another bottle. I wish you would step on that. So he can get hurt by uh, the, the traps if he triggers them himself. It's incredibly uh, satisfying when he does do that. I'm lost. I think if memory serves, I'm approaching a table. It is very dark at the moment, but things will lighten up once I get back home. <laughs> Uh, and by home, I mean, of course, the safe room. But I've had to learn to navigate this place in the dark quite a bit. That's a cupboard I can hide in. Nice. Keep it together. <laughs> There's the door up these stairs on the right, huh? Okay. Let's freaking go. So now I'm going to walk down this passageway. Hope... Hope upon hope he doesn't show up and interrupt and destroy this entire run. <laughs> so that's the thing. This is like a run-based uh, version of Amnesia. Where Amnesia Rebirth was, uh, I guess you could say, a linear uh, narrative progression. This is more like a, a, a roguelike in some ways, where you keep taking runs, try to achieve what you can, and whatever you've achieved, you know, is permanent if you make it back to the save room. And now, I'm about to transition into the main bunker map. The, the central hub, if you will. Any second... Now, there we go. I've transitioned. Yeah. They sure do. <laughs> yes, uh, any horror games with heartbeats adds a little flavor to the horror. Yes, Amnesia is especially good at that. Uh, in fact, in Rebirth, I had the heartbeat of my, my baby within my belly. And uh, I'd have to comfort my child every time I got scared. Amnesia Rebirth had a really, really good story. And that's not to be disparaging to the bunker. I like the bunker. I know that everyone loves the bunker, okay? <laughs> this is everyone's favorite amnesia game, from what I can tell. And I like it just fine. Lock the door! Door's locked. We are safe. We made it. We made it. <sighs> and there it is. The safe room music, meaning we made it home in one piece. Safe. This is all the crap I picked up. It's a lot of bottles and sticks, as you can see. <laughs> this is what's in my inventory right now. I got a fuel tank, I got a gas mask, which I may keep on me. I think we're gonna drop these bottles. I've got lots of bottles. And sticks. How much space have I got? I've got three inventory slots. I have a petrol bomb which I used as lighter to light, so I'll keep that on me. I'm not sure if I'll need it right now, though. I think I'll drop this fuel canister so I can stop crouching, I can walk like a person again. Over here is where I keep my generator. This is my flashlight, by the way. In case you're wondering why it's always dark, this is my light source. <laughs> I literally have to wind it up, and like a wheel, it spins, makes light, and dies very quickly. But as you can see, this is the generator. Keep on at all times. He hates the light. And I rarely, if ever, turn this thing on because it's so precious to me <laughs> to have the generator. But yes, that is why it's so very dark in this place because all the lights are off. There's no power. Until, of course, I turn it on. 
Now, I think I'm going to put my gun away in storage. I don't think I'm going to be using it for the, the next sequence. I'm going to take a gas grenade though, because I, I'm, I'm growing uh, accustomed to them now that they've become useful. And this is my map here. Let me see if I can avoid stepping on a bottle. Okay. See, that pin over there, oh, let me zoom in. That pin over there, that's me. That's the administration room. I'm here. I've been working on getting these switches working so I can go to the communications room. And now that I've got all the power going, I can turn the generator on and I should be able to go to the, the radio and get the message. So that's my goal right now. I'm going to save. I'm going to hit that generator and we're going to go back and we're going to achieve our goal of hearing. Look how many gas canisters I have. <laughs> it shows you how uh, thrifty I've been with the gas. Okay, let's turn it on. And we have light. Let's put that away. And here goes nothing. Out of the safe room, into the danger. But at least now it's well lit. What a difference, huh? See, this bunker ain't so bad when you can see things. But yeah, if you want to see my struggles, I highly recommend uh, uh, having a look at the VODs. They're all on YouTube. Oh, actually, yeah. Um, this is part eight. On YouTube, it's currently part five. So there's still a few videos in between. <laughs> I explained in the Discord uh, the reason for my scheduling <laughs> my videos the way I've been doing. So if you're watching this live, you're 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 a bit in the future. <laughs> okay, I should theoretically just be able to go straight ahead now. There's communication straight ahead of me. And here should be the radio. And there it is. I've achieved my goal. The code is one zero one four. Finally, I got the code. I hope that you can forgive me. The arsenal code is one zero one four. We have the code for the arsenal. We are up big. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing else for me to do here. I'm going to go back now. I've achieved my goal for this run. It's still scary, but less. Yeah, it's always scary. <laughs> Wait till you see this thing. It's horrific. You just might. 1014, yeah. Thankfully, this game doesn't expect me to have uh, the best memory or anything like that, so it's all good. I think it's probably just going to keep it saved somewhere. I think Henri took a note of it already. Oh, no, he's coming. Do you hear that? He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I've got to move. And the worst thing is with the light on, I'm easy to see. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> but yes, as I catch my breath, it's really lovely to have you back uh, in the chat again. <laughs> I've done most of this game pretty much solo, uh, and that's cool. I kind of got used to it, to be honest. But 
it is nice to actually have someone there. Oh god, he's coming. I gotta run. Now me running is is suicide. If I don't get this closed real freaking quick and locked. Locked! <gasps> we made it! We did it! We've achieved greatness! <laughs> Communications successful. Now it's on to the arsenal. That is huge. Oh, I should turn off this generator. How much fuel did that use? Not as much as I thought. There we go. That is fantastic. I'm so pleased. You have no idea how long it's taken me to get that small objective completed. So on that note, I appreciate everyone watching and my, oh, damn it, I just lose that bottle. <laughs> it's gone for good. That's the problem with dropping things on the ground. They just roll around everywhere. Uh, thanks to everyone watching. <laughs> I know, I know. My time zone sucks. And also, my streaming schedule sucks too, to be fair. But that will regulate in time. At the moment, uh, certain things are in a flux. So I record when I can. <laughs> I broadcast when I can. But I'll be back soon. Um, thanks for coming. And please, uh, if what you saw looks like an interesting journey... I encourage you to check out the VODs that led to where we are now and stay tuned for what comes next in Amnesia the Bunker. Until next way, until next time, bonsoir, allons-y and all that. <laughs> ciao, ciao.